SCP-682. Does it even require an introduction? The SCP Foundation thinks this cantankerous reptile needs a serious attitude adjustment, by which we mean they really, really want to kill it. But as you might have seen in our previous videos on the subject, they don't call this monstrosity the hard-to-destroy reptile for nothing. That's why we've done what the Foundation isn't allowed to. We outsourced the dirty job of squashing this lizard to all of you. We made a community post asking for your ideas on how this scaly abomination can finally be destroyed, and you delivered big time. A truly staggering amount with over 6,000 comments. Now let's see if we can finally get our answer, because believe us, the Foundation is desperate at this point. I don't know what to write for a name said, the most effective way that Dr. Bright approves of, Chainsaw Cannon. As awesome as a chainsaw cannon would probably be to use, it sadly wouldn't be very effective against SCP-682. Chainsaws are blades, and we know from the termination test logs that blades have been ineffective. Even when SCP-682 is chopped up into tiny little pieces, those pieces have a nasty habit of reforming into the big, ugly monster we all know and fear. Awesome Cardinal said, The SCP Foundation could try to bring it to the void in Russia where the Pattern Screamers are. This was a popular idea, and the Foundation actually tried this. The SCP being referred to here is SCP-3930, a big old pile of nothing in Russia that causes things inside it to stop existing. When they threw SCP-682 inside, it technically did stop existing. Despite this, it could still be perceived, and still cause the deaths of all surrounding researchers. Fifteen hours later, it just reappeared in its containment chamber, apparently totally fine. You can probably see why the Foundation is frustrated by this thing. Score Crow and friends said, Black Hole, need I say more? You may need to say a little more. For starters, there would be logistical issues in actually getting the creature anywhere near a black hole, but there's also the concern that it may just adapt its body to respond to the intense gravity present near a black hole, or even scarier, somehow adapt to reproduce the powers of a black hole. It probably wouldn't be worth the risk of ending up with a reptile capable of creating gamma-ray bursts. Stellar Solar Sky said, Put the reptile inside nuclear fusion and watch its particles disappear. The Foundation tried something pretty close to this, by trying to put it inside SCP-536, a chamber where they can use dials to control the physical contents within. They increased the speed of light and nuclear force within the chamber, which caused SCP-682 to disintegrate until all that was left was a piece of matter 1% of its original size. However, the creature then reformed and killed the researchers. Later tests showed that its body had become an unknown form of matter, held together by quantum effects impossible to unravel with our current understanding of science. Brea Fun said, So you know that coffee machine thing that is 294? Type in 682 killing substance and then repeat that until you have enough to fill its entire room, then fill it. They did actually try this, and the resulting substance was effective in damaging SCP-682's tissue. However, the one problem is that it's extremely difficult to produce enough of this stuff to actually submerge the creature. Worse still, if enough was made to cause significant damage to the body of SCP-682, it may adapt to the chemical as a defense mechanism, making it ineffective as a weapon. Its adaptive ability is truly SCP-682's greatest asset when it comes to thwarting the Foundation's constant attempts to kill it. Alex Webb said, Ask it kindly to die. We don't believe that the Foundation has actually ever tried this one, but just based on the fact that SCP-682 is a huge jerk on top of being an omnicidal monster, he probably wouldn't respond to polite requests. I Flashboy said, I wonder if Doomslayer could defeat the reptile. He's torn through every demon in hell and even titans, so would 682 be a challenger or just another Tuesday for the Slayer? That's a slightly trickier one. Of course, since they exist in different universes, we'll never see an official battle between the Doom Slayer and SCP-682. However, given that the Doom Slayer's weapons are all conventional, meaning largely based around slashing, crushing, shooting, and blasting, we don't know whether he'd actually be able to slay the beast. That being said, we don't know if 682 could kill him either. We could have a stalemate on our hands here. Amanda Brenneman said, I asked my sister, who's never heard of SCPs, this question, and her answer was, you hit it again. 
Amanda, your sister may be the one to finally stop this creature. Getting the two of them in the same room may be the biggest logistical problem here. Samuel Pasquale said, Throwing him down SCP-087 so he suffers and is contained once and for all in the improbable case he is still alive. SCP-087 the Endless Staircase can be a dangerous anomaly for humans who don't know what they're getting into. However, SCP-682 would likely detect the threat far earlier than any human, and then breach containment. It's definitely gotten out of stickier situations. Yashashiri Chara said, Send him to Endless Ikea where he will be trapped forever. Much like SCP-087, the Endless Ikea would impose the same threat to SCP-682 as it would for the average human trapped inside. The staff would be no trouble for 682, and it would be able to devote pretty much all of its time in there to finding a way out. And when he did finally break out, he'd probably be armed with a terrifying knowledge of how to correctly assemble a Svendendruck. We shudder at the thought. Jack Law said, Oxygen Destroyer, used to deal with another big lizard issue back in 1954. Sadly, this would also likely be an ineffective weapon against uh -huh. SCP-682 because the creature thrives in anaerobic environments, seeing as its native atmosphere seems to have no oxygen, and according to Foundation tests, it can survive just fine in a vacuum. Whether SCP-682 could take Godzilla in a fight is still up for debate, and you can argue about which lizard would reign supreme in the comments. Ace Goodwin said, Just don't kill him. Let him live, bro. He hasn't done anything wrong yet. Let him vibe in his chamber. Wait a second, did SCP-682 write this? Mm, moving on. A lot of you said throw him into the sun. While the sun is a gigantic nuclear furnace where hydrogen is built into helium at a temperature of millions of degrees, there is the issue of not only being beyond difficult to incapacitate the creature for long enough to get into the rocket, but also the problem of the sun being 93 million miles away from Earth. It's a long trip there no matter what, and during that time SCP-682 would almost definitely figure out a way to return to Earth. It might even rewire the rocket and turn it into its own personal vehicle, giving it the freedom to cause chaos around the solar system. And even if everything else went well, SCP-682 would still probably survive being thrown into the sun. After all, the Gate Guardian's flaming sword is described as being hotter than the sun and it didn't manage to kill the hard-to-destroy reptile. Pokemon Red Boy said, send him to Mars and launch a nuke that can destroy a planet along with the SCP. While a nuke capable of destroying the planet of Mars would also likely destroy SCP-682 in the process, the destruction of Mars itself would likely cause such a catastrophic shift in our neck of the solar system that we'd probably die along with it. The question at that point is whether it's really worth killing ourselves to take down the lizard. Artemis said, Let it live with 999 its entire life and it's not a threat. This is a double-edged sword. During their cross-test, SCP-999 did pacify SCP-682 and put it in a state of bliss and laughter for a brief period. However, this actually resulted in a pretty catastrophic tragedy, too. 682 adapted to 999's effects and released a beam of laughter that incapacitated everyone around it, allowing it to escape and go on a killing spree. So maybe the two are better kept apart. Dr. Was Up said, I'd give 682 a jar of pickles to open, and the jar would be so tight that SCP-682 couldn't open it and he would be so embarrassed by it that he would just destroy himself. You may actually be onto something here. We know we'd be extremely embarrassed if we couldn't open the jar, but there are three major problems. One, where does one get such a jar? Can SCP-343 make a jar of pickles so difficult to open that he himself can't open it? Two, we don't know if SCP-682 likes pickles enough to make opening the jar an attractive prospect. And three, if it does turn out that it likes pickles, it would probably just eat the jar too. Shuvo Bhattacharji said, To deal with him in my opinion, send SCP-682 into SCP-3001, aka the Red Reality. That's my theory. This could potentially be an effective method of trapping SCP-682 for a period of time. However, the problem is that there's no reliable way to access the Red Reality. The only person who's ever really been inside is Robert Scranton, and he ended up there completely by accident. So this doesn't seem to be a reliable neutralization method for SCP-682. Adding to that, the panel that Dr. Scranton was transported to the Red Reality with eventually came back, which means it might only be a temporary solution anyway. Mistake to Society Yay said, Can someone ride SCP-682 without them dying? 
This isn't technically about neutralizing SCP-682, but it deserves an answer. While it appears that some people are able to ride 682, such as SCP-053, the little girl, and 05-6, aka the American in the Orboro cycle, he doesn't seem to enjoy it. At least he didn't when SCP-082, better known as Ferdinand the Cannibal, attempted it. Of course, Ferdinand describes their relationship quite differently, insisting that 682 is his Bayard, his magical steed. Laura Garcia said, chop it up, put the pieces in a giant bowl with egg beaters stirring it constantly so it can't reanimate. Keep it kinetically moving so it doesn't ever have the rest time to reform. Giant egg beating machine to prevent reformation. Killing it would take a Rigel Sunblast to stop it from reanimating itself. This has got to be one of the most creative ones we've encountered. Even Dr. Bry probably wouldn't think to use giant whisks on the beast. However, it probably wouldn't kill the ordinary creature for good. As we've said before, not only has the beast regenerated from things as hot as the sun, he's also able to re-manifest from the tiniest atoms, or even nothing at all. On the plus side, he may reanimate with a new super whisking ability, and could potentially give SCP-5031 a run for best cook and containment. Shaked Ben Yakar said, I think they need to explode him from the inside because maybe there's one spot in his body that isn't invincible, and if they hurt it, SCP-682 will die. The problem with SCP-682 isn't necessarily that it's invincible, just hyper-adaptive and hyper-regenerative. As you may have seen in other videos, SCP-682 has been shot, dismembered, burned, frozen, vaporized, blown up, partially eaten, and even totally disintegrated. But it always manages to come back, even from the smallest specks of matter. It would almost be admirable if it wasn't a perpetually aggressive murder monster. Brybot said, put it in 106's pocket dimension. This actually happened once during a containment breach, where the old man as well as SCP-953, the polymorphic humanoid, ended up in 682's cell. SCP-106 dragged them all into its pocket dimension for a bit of the odd ultraviolence, and when they emerged, it was clear that they'd all taken considerable damage. SCP-682 wasn't killed, though, and 106 hasn't tried anything like that again since. Non-player Cactus said, trick him into killing John Wick's dog. To be fair, if anyone could take this monster down, it'd probably be John Wick. Though SCP-682 might be too smart to actually kill his dog in the first place. And if he did manage to best John Wick? Well, we hate to think what a 682 with the martial prowess and gun skills of John Wick would be like. Actually, no, we don't hate to think about it because it would be awesome. These are just a little taster plate of the huge and varied potential murder methods you've devised for this terrible creature. But there were just too many good ones, so we'll have to save the rest for another day. Which means it isn't too late to tell us yours. Let us know your idea down in the comments. And make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and keep an eye on our community tab so you can be part of the next video. Now check out SCP-5031, yet another murder monster. And SCP-682 Ways SCP Foundation Tried to Kill Hard to Destroy Reptile. For more on monsters kept under the Foundation's care.